Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have a confession. This week's piece is not finished. It's finished. You guys, I'm so happy. This is part two. Hi, my name is Sarah. <laughs> welcome to my channel. If you guys are coming back and you've seen part one of the green beast and my failure <laughs> out there for the world to see although i know i'm i can be very dramatic it's not that big of a fail i just couldn't get the mdf to work how i wanted it to this video is a finishing up of that so if you're returning you know what i'm talking about if you've seen that other video you know what i'm talking about so it's finally here the close to that if you are new welcome i don't know if i want to encourage you to go and see my failure but if you want to go right ahead if you enjoy this video if you get through to the end of this video and you enjoy it maybe consider subscribing that would be amazing joining uh, the 445 family in this video we're going to go through because i didn't do this in part one but we're going to go through the painting of the body of it the attaching of the feet because we made some legs and this top now this is my fourth you guys are going to be sick of me saying it but this is my fourth piece of the four in four days right my husband took my kids away for four days and uh, to visit his family down in South Carolina and or North Carolina one of the Carolinas and I got the house to myself and I just went crazy and did four pieces in four days it was a lot so I did finish it with a different top so let's get into the video I think what I'm going to do is build a base for this one out of some oak some red oak that I have and I'm definitely painting it green the top has to go and I'll show you why water has just done a number on it and if I glue underneath that it's not going to stay down. This is this week's piece. Let's get started. sanding pad we're just gonna give it a light sanding I'm not gonna go crazy it's not even that shiny anymore still want to give it a good gusting I think I want to do a six inch leg it's going to stand at about 25 inches high have left over some leftover hardware so I was thinking of doing these guys some brass colored modern modern pools right I'm going with good old Bondo
using um, Krylon paint in a, like an olive green. It's a tintable base. It was in the discount aisle section, whatever. It's, I guess, the person that bought it didn't like the color, but I like the color. coat of the green on everything and it looks really good the legs uh, I have already stained in special walnut there but I think I'm going to give it a light sanding and give it a second go over before I poly them Today's the day I attack the top and I will win this mountain. <laughs> I'm going to finish this guy and I mean it's going to look lovely when it's done but I'm not going to let this defeat me. So part two. Okay, just kidding. That was not the top. I started it, right? You see me start. I actually completed it, primed it, painted it, top coated it, and it was fine. And I attached it, but it didn't work out. And but luckily, in the eleventh hour, <laughs> this was on this top. This tabletop was on Facebook Marketplace and I jumped on it. It was what I was after all along. And so technically while I did get the four done in four days, well, you'll see. So <clears throat> I finished the top of the green thing and I don't like it. The MDF is not great. When I screwed in from underneath, the screws were not were not staying in, so I wasn't happy. 
I technically did get it done in the four days and it's um, now been a few weeks since I've had it done and I noticed on Facebook Marketplace last night this came up for sale and it's a tabletop. Lots of good things about this one. The only thing is that I need it to be 56 inches and it's 60. It's going to be way too much overhang which means I need to trim it down. So what I'm going to do right now is measure out 18 inches deep and then flip it over. I envisioned from the start. I should have, uh, I don't know, whatever. Who knows? Is it really of any use to say shoulda, woulda, coulda? Not really. Okay. I need to cut about two inches off. So I'm going to cut an inch off each side. Sorry, forgot to tape it. I decided I like the rounded edge on the front and the straight edges on the side. I'm going to sand it all back. Actually, before I do that, I have to repair something. going to pre-drill some holes so I can screw it in from the top. I'm also going to glue it and that will make it stick. Minwax water base polyacrylic because this is a water based product I'm using a water based top coat. I'm so using the same brush, the zebra fan brush. I'm getting it all on there and then doing one nice big long stroke. And that's it. 
I will do another two, possibly three coats. Or well, not another three. I will do another coat, so that will make it two, possibly a third. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so relieved to have rectified this piece and turned it into something that is useful, saved it from landfill and and it looks good. I really like it. a viewer reach out to me after part one and I guess she could envision how it was gonna look too because she was like I love it so much I want to buy it and I thought because that was back in April that I had totally lost her and that she wouldn't be interested anymore but I reached out to her showed her pictures of it explained what I did and how I got it to look like it looks and she loved it so I've sold it <laughs> and I'm delivering it to her tomorrow. I'm super happy with it, that I've completed it and that it looks how I wanted it to and that somebody has purchased it. <laughs> it always feels good when somebody buys something that you've worked so hard on. Next week's piece is sitting right over there. I found it on the side of the road and uh, it's the tall boy for the desk. You guys, I decided, you know, on the desk, I just did a little bit of blending. Well, this guy, the whole thing is blended and I love it, love how it turned out. I hope I catch you on that video next week. Bye guys. Bye.